I'm talking about an absolute boatload of money. Hello and welcome to the Durham Talents Channel. My name is Jesse Durham. For today's installation in our quote series, we're going to consider the saying of a boatload of money. Now, two images kind of jump in my mind when I consider the meaning or the background on this saying. You let me know what jumps in your mind. Put that down in the comment section below. But I think of maybe a legal and an illegal boat, a literal boat in my mind. I'm thinking of some pilgrim-like boat that's bringing wares from this place to another place with the sails, the wooden boat. You understand what I'm saying? Bringing wares goods from one place to another that that represents a boatload of money those goods when they're sold the capital that that would generate etc and then of course i think of some you know thriller movie scene where somebody's perhaps trying to bring a contraband from one place to another or whatever the case may be but you understand i'm sure uh, the meaning the significance behind a boatload of money but when i considered this saying and bringing it to today's episode i naturally thought that in its simplicity and in its power, becoming your own banker is the simplest, the most straightforward, the most natural, and the most profitable way for you to have a boatload of money in your lifetime and then also to generate a massive tax-free windfall to the next generation. So infinite banking is this, right? It's changing one thing that you're already doing. You're already banking. You're either using one or a mixture of the credit route or the cash route. You're either using someone else's money on their terms and conditions. If you qualify, ask permission, fill out their papers, donate a kidney, whatever, et cetera, right? To pay them interest. And it's a lot of interest. To, to know this for yourself, go to your regular monthly payments. Calculate everything out, what the payment is. Then calculate up the interest dollars that you pay on all those things, the homes, the cars, everything. Put everything down. You'll be staggered by what you're already doing. And the other way is cash. Folks that are saving up money, when they have enough for what they want, they spend it and go down to zero. Well, that money is forever gone, never to return, which means it can't work for us. So we're either paying someone interest or we're forfeiting the opportunity to earn interest on our money. Money could be earning more money. There are two ways to earn people at work, money at work. So the third C is compounding, not credit, not cash compounding infinite banking is you changing that one step of the banking entity becomes the properly structured whole life policy from a mutual company that pays dividends instead of the regular commercial bank that you're already using you change that product you change that entity for something that you can privately own privately control and privately profit from so here's the boatload of money that's already in your life when you calculate your expenses, there it is. The average American, and this is average, and this is assuming a 10% savings rate too. So if you were already saving 10% of what you earn saving that, okay, the average American is paying 34 and a half cents of every dollar that we earn in interest alone. Did you hear me? 34 and a half percent over the course of your lifetime. That is a boatload of money. So I'm not saying it's an overnight fix, but that's what this saying made me think of is the average American is bleeding out interest dollars. That represents a boatload of money over your lifetime. One interesting case study would be homes, just homes. Looking at a, I don't care, 15-year, 30-year, whatever, mortgage, look at the interest that, and not the rate. I don't care about the rate. I'm not saying it doesn't matter, but I don't care in comparison to the volume, the actual dollar amount of interest that's paid on a home mortgage, especially when you take into account that most people are moving every five to seven years and that mortgage starts all over again with brand new massive amounts of interest dollars going to banks. I'm saying you can be your own banker. That's where the boatload of money is for you. You're already banking. You're just not doing it for yourself, but you can. And you can profit from it. And then if you do think long range, like R. Nelson Nash encourages us to do in his book, Becoming Your Own Banker, 
When you begin to think intergenerationally and you realize that if you account for the banking function in your lifetime, that you can keep that capital that used to go to other people, and then it transfers from this generation to the next in a tax-free death benefit payout from these whole life policies that have been structured for the banking purpose, that creates a whole new financial paradigm for the next generation. So there's a boatload of money in your life. You just need to keep it and grow it and compound it and control it. To have a conversation about that, you can find me at durhamtalents.com. This has been a great pleasure for me. I hope you have a great day. Take care.